Good morning, it is Friday. I'm not sure if this is going to be part of a weekly vlog or if I'm going to cut off at some point because Eddie and I are off today and we are going up to Derbyshire to the dog friendly hotel we stayed in before so um, it's not a working day for me. I'm not sure how much I will get to vlog this weekend. Last time we went away I couldn't vlog a huge amount because it's quite a busy hotel and also I just want to have some nice time away with Eddie without having to keep getting the camera out so we'll see. Um, so I might just tag it on as part of a weekly vlog rather than doing a separate weekend one. I'll see how much footage I get and then I'll decide. But I've got this morning to put you into work and then I've done my workout. So it was cardio fixed today, so 30 minutes of cardio. I had to modify the hell out of it. I was really struggling today. I should have had some pre-workout because I felt like I had no energy. So I obviously had the Chinese yesterday but I didn't have a huge amount and um, it just goes to show you that it isn't very nutritious for your body because it didn't obviously give me any energy or anything for today. So um, so yeah, I had that. We did eat fairly early on as well. We did eat like probably half six, seven o'clock. So by the time I exercised this morning, I don't think there's anything much left of that in my body. And um, then it was 10 minute abs. I am going to now go on the bike for a little bit because I just want to just do another few minutes and then I'm, I don't know I could do with stretching out my hips because yesterday's workout really really hurt my hip. I need to edit a video before we go and I need to pack and <coughs> obviously get showered because I'm not going to go looking like this. So quite a lot to do before we go. I'm not sure what time we're going. I don't think we can check in till three but I think we were thinking of going up to Bakewell and having a walk around Bakewell before we go to the hotel. So we shall see. We'll see how the day pans out. But yeah, I've done my workout. I feel much better for getting it out of the way. Like I said, I had to really force myself to do it today. I really didn't want to do it. But I'm so glad I have. Um, obviously, I'm not going to work out tomorrow because we're away. I might try and do it Sunday when I'm back. Because I don't want to fall behind. I have actually done every day of this workout so far this week. So I've got day six and seven to do. Originally, I was going to double up today and do the Dirty 30 workout. But in all honesty, I don't think I've got it in me. I might have enough to sit and pedal on a bike for a little bit. It's very different to doing that workout where there's lots of lots involved with it. So <laughs> I'm going to leave that till Sunday. I might do that and yoga fix. I think Eddie might need to run on Sunday. So it might work out quite well that we both have to do something. It is Mother's Day. So I'm going to be kind to myself. But that just gives me like an hour or so to myself. So I'm going to go quickly go on the bike now and then get ready for my day. So we have arrived and this time we've got a medium room. Last time we stayed here we had a small room. To be honest, I can't see a huge amount of difference. And if anything, the bit of space no, I, we've, I the bit of space we've gained is probably just in the hallway. I don't think we've gained a lot, but I'll quickly spin you around and show you. So we're overlooking the back this time. So down here is where you can go and you can um, wash a bike or dogs or muddy boots and all the rest of it. You can store stuff in there as well. We've got this whole facility. That's the car park and obviously the view behind. So that's that. And then the room itself, lamp light before, little dog mat. Eddie just putting her food bowls down for her to go and have a drink of water and stuff. Here's the bed. We do have a bigger bed apparently this time. This is supposed to be like a super king. Obviously the little Peak District pictures behind with the same lady bow sinkhole or plug hole, whatever you call it. And then over here, there is the coffee machine. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eddie's just banged his head. <laughs> Kettle. And then there's a mini bar. There's a safe just here. I think there's a mini bar down here with milk for our drinks. The mini bar prices are up there. So how much, well, how much is everything? So the, Peanuts are one pound eighty five, and then the prosecco is seven ninety five for a little bottle, seven twenty for Pinotage. So for Mar Blanc is seven twenty. You're causing a bit of a shadow, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing there, right in the light, as always. TV up there, and then. So yeah, that's the. Uh, she comes a pop. Too expensive. One pound eighty. And then there's just the drawer that has in an ice bucket and tea and coffee for the machine, cups and spoons. And then the rest is just empty drawers, I believe, from last time. So yeah, just drawers to put stuff in. And then there's a little vanity unit here with some charging units. Hello. 
and then um, just like bedside. So at least each side you have a plug and you have two USBs, which I really like because places we've stayed where we've struggled to be able to plug everything in. And then over here is the bathroom. So it's just like before, quite industrial looking. Here's the shower, complete with the... Oh, we have got shampoo, conditioner and body wash. Last time they got them the way around and put moisturiser in. Mm. We've got hand wash and hand cream out here this time. Towels and fancy lights. And then this also lights up like a proper ring light. And then that's it. There is this other room here which is locked, but I think that's just, um, it says fire door, so I don't know where it leads to, and obviously there's the door. So that's it, a little hanging rail, an iron. I didn't bring a hairdryer this time, is there one there? Oh, there is one there. I was about to say, last time I came, it's my birthday, so I had my own hairdryer with me, so I didn't use theirs, but I think I've got a hairdryer, luckily. So we're here for the two nights. We paid for bed and breakfast and a medium room and it came to a total of £260 and that included Luna because Luna came free. So I think breakfast on average is 10 to 15 pounds, isn't it? So you think probably 60 pound of that was, so I think it's 99 pound for the room and then, then the rest is breakfast. So not too bad really, considering we can bring Luna with us, um, it's, it's quite good. So I think I'm gonna dip to the loo because I drove here and I just bust him for a wee. And then I think we're gonna head out and try and go back to Bakewell. In Bakewell, there is a little shopping outlet we're not going to actually go into Bakewell itself. I think we're just going to go to the little shopping outlet because we didn't go last time. I think it's open until 5.30. Well, it's currently 20 past three, so we're quite tight on time. So we're going to have to make a move. So um, I shall catch you in a bit. morning it is saturday and we are obviously away we've just been down for breakfast i think i filmed my eggs but i didn't film anything else um i've tracked everything as best i can that i've eaten i had some pancakes and bacon although luna had a fair bit of the bacon i had two boiled eggs with some brown toast and some granola yogurt fruit coolie thing so yeah i think it's tracked at 780 something calories but i've tracked it all and that's the main thing um i tried to track what i had yesterday so yesterday night for dinner um, I had a linguine, which was a broccoli, pea and pine nut. So I managed to find in the app a Green Chef pine nut asparagus linguine. So I've tracked that because I'm pretty sure it would be very similar. Closest I can get. I did have some IPA and I've tracked that. So I was over calories yesterday, which doesn't surprise me. I tracked my creme brulee, my shortbread biscuit. I tracked everything I had, even I had a piece of fruitcake back in the room. I tracked it all. So... Like I said, I was over for calories yesterday, but if I take into account my exercise calories, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been over. But I, I don't obviously do that. But if I look at the week as a whole, I'm still well within, so I'm fine. Uh, I've got crazy hair. I've got to try and sort that out before we go out. But it's currently five past nine. Um, I took Luna outside probably about quarter to eight this morning, half seven, quarter to eight. And it's just damp and miserable. So um took her out and then came back and we got ready. Went down for breakfast had a leisurely breakfast and then we've come back upstairs and I'm now going to have a go at doing my bar jello kit that I bought last week so it looks fairly straightforward it's just like tapestry by the looks of it so I'm going to have a quick go at that Eddie's playing on his new gaming thing that he got for his birthday so he's quite happy I think we're going to go out to Bakewell and do the Bakewell Monsell Trail walk because I wanted to originally do this Castleton walk to Mantor but I think it's about, how many miles did I say it was? It's about six miles. Six miles, and that is way too much for Luna's little leg. There's no way she'll manage it. I think three and a half miles will be pushing it. I think afterwards she's going to be struggling, but we'll be able to pick up if we need to. It's not too far to carry her. And there is a stop, like a cafe, like part way round. So I think we're going to do that today. 
we're determined we're not going to sort of like race around like idiots so we're taking our time not leaving till probably try leave here about 10 this morning i think and then we'll do that put our walking shoes on do that walk perhaps have some lunch at the cafe walk back and then maybe have a wander around the shops in bakewell but that'll be us done i think we'll probably come back here and just sit in the lounge downstairs and have a coffee or something so like i say we're, we're not going to go mad normally when we go away we go racing here there and everywhere but we both want to just have a chilled break this time and that's what we're determined to do so anyway i'll go for now and i shall i'll show you a bit of my bar jello if it, if it goes well um, i'll show you if it doesn't go well but i'll show you regardless <laughs> It just looks very uh, bleak. <laughs> well, it is in the fact that it hasn't got yeast in it. So we've done the Montsor Trail up to Hassip Station Cafe and then back. Poor little Luna is struggling a little bit now on her leg but we're almost there, we're almost back at Bakewell and that's the walk done. We'll have done about three and a half miles I think, six and a half kilometres thereabouts. So yeah I got my steps in. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday and it is Mother's Day and I am sitting with Chloe and Luna, which <laughs> Luna is down here. She's kind of awake and kind of asleep. Um, I travelled back today from the hotel in Derbyshire and the visibility was awful. It was throwing it down with rain. We decided to not stay up there for very long. Had our breakfast, packed up and left. And um, yeah, been back. And since I got back, Eddie's making dinner. He went out and bought stuff for dinner. We didn't want to go out for dinner today. I've been sitting doing my bar jello, which is this kit. I'm quite enjoying it. I must admit, I've got definitely got vibes of the children's embroidery sets, you know, with the plastic canvas like this and the wool. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. Eddie's making dinner. He's just shouting if I wanted it in a bowl or a plate. I don't know why. I had to have that question asked. Um, just realised that I haven't actually made my weigh-in video go live. So I didn't bother uploading it whilst I was away. Because the internet... We did have free internet in the room. And it was perfectly fine. But it wasn't good enough to be able to upload a video. Because I tried to do something on the video that I'd set live um, on before I left. And just even putting tags and stuff on was just a nightmare. So... I decided to not bother doing that so obviously i had the one that i, I set live on friday and this was supposed to go up yesterday but i decided to leave it till today but anyway i've had i've had nothing ready to vlog today because like i said it was a wet dreary drive home and then i've just sat down chilling doing this i've unpacked my bag and literally just sat and done this so that's where we are today chloe bought me some nice daffodils and she's bought me some other bits for mother's day where did i put the bag down here so she has bought me they are random bits. Random but... bits, but I love them. <laughs> so she's got me a new bullet journal. So this is bigger than your sort of normal, sort of small size, but not quite as big as A4. So I'm very excited about that. Um, like I said, she bought me a bunch of daffodils as well. And then she got me this um, serum mask from Soap and Glory, which I'm very excited about. Bright Squeeze Radiance Boosting Serum Mask. And there's 12 applications in there, so that should last a little while. And then I've got this print to go by my coffee machine, which is Death Before Decaf. And I couldn't read it in the mirror there. <laughs> um, and this is from a small business. I'll just put that there so that if you're interested, you might be able to scan the QR code. 
so yeah that's to go in my kitchen it's blue iris print company on instagram but yeah that's the that's the um the qr code hopefully you've ever scanned that if you're interested so yeah um there, that's um obviously i've got the interchangeable knitting needles that eddie and i purchased in leak last week for mother's day that kind of from eddie not that he's got to get me a mother's day gift i'm not his mother um but he knew the boys wouldn't bother because they haven't so no big surprise there because they just don't bother and they're terrible they did you and did transfer me some money for eddie's birthday present but so far tom's done nothing i don't think they are really really bad so anyway yeah boys being boys although i don't think all boys are like it so i'm going to carry on doing this i've also got my knitting in there for my socks that i thought i might finish this weekend but i decided to start the bar jello because i did do a bit of knitting on friday night when i was in bed but i decided to when i was sitting at the table i decided to do this i thought i would really fancy finishing this so i'm going to carry on and then i'll probably i probably will do a craft update video at some point and show it in that if you don't see it before then um, but yeah, my dinner's nearly ready. I'm not sure when I'm going to get a phone call because Ewan is at work. He's been really poorly, actually. He, he came down with what Tom's had on Friday. And he went to work on Friday. And then he wasn't very well. We took him. We took him to work and then he phoned me. I was in the Peak Outlet shopping village and he said that he'd come home a bit earlier because he wasn't feeling very well. And then they messaged him Friday night and said, how are you doing? And he rang me and said, what do you think you should do? And I said, if you're really not very well, you need to tell them now so they can get someone in to cover because he had a 12 hour shift. So he told them how he was feeling. So they said, oh, don't worry, just rest and we'll get someone else in. He's never off ill. I can't ever complain. He never phones in. So he took Saturday off and was in bed. I'd ordered some cold and flu tablets to be delivered so he could take some of those on yesterday. A message Thomas said just make sure he drinks plenty but he was determined he was going back to work today so I was messaging him this morning at like 10 to 7 to make sure he's awake to get a taxi to work so he did and he's gone so I think he might be finishing at five but I was I wouldn't be surprised if I got a phone call saying come pick me up a bit earlier it's now 20 to 4 and um, I know he wants to be back properly at work this week because I think they're doing the tasting and the prep of the new menu that's coming out so I think he wants to be there for that it's really important he's there for that so um so yeah i'm just going to carry on what i'm doing and um if anything interesting i shall show you i didn't even record my breakfast this morning because we had what we had yesterday so eddie did his two boiled eggs in the little egg boiler we've got and a slice of toast and then i went back and had a couple of pancakes with some bacon and syrup and then a little yogurt granola thing so i had exactly what i had yesterday and it was all really tasty really enjoyed it so I didn't overeat, I didn't go mad. I could, They had croissants and everything, but I didn't go mad. Just had what I needed to feel full. So yeah, but I'm ready for my dinner now, so. Luna's feeling proper sorry for herself. She really is like in a bad way with her leg, so. Yeah. She was asleep on me for ages and I couldn't move and I got a real dead leg, but she's really struggling now. So I think we're gonna have to book her into the vets this week to see if we can get her referred because I haven't even got any pain relief and I was googling to see if you can give dog painkillers like human painkillers and it said absolutely not so I haven't even though it's awful seeing her in pain and there's no way of getting any medication for her but anyway I'm going to stop talking because I've talked for like five and a half minutes solid and I shall catch you later on here's my dinner so there's roast chicken a bit of gammon mashed potato did you do any of it out now no, no carrots, no. roast potatoes, broccoli, peas and sweet corn. Evening, I went to pick you up from work, came back, he actually bought me three tins of cocktails, I'll show you quickly because they're in the fridge. Uh, I'm not sure the calories of these yet because some of them aren't marked and some I need to look at some, I need to look in the app. So there's a strawberry daiquiri, a raspberry crush, um, Smirnoff drink and then there's a mixed berry mojito which is that one he also bought me a bag of minstrels which are my favourites and I think it's some randoms there upstairs um, I haven't had any today really appreciate the gesture obviously I'm trying to lose weight I have had pudding today that I didn't record earlier which was a some sort of sticky apple from Morrison's and I was upstairs with Luna asleep on me doing my bar jello so I haven't even tracked it but it's the end of my calories today. I'm writing the week off now because 
Obviously, the last couple of days have been very difficult to track. But I'm getting on with doing my workouts. I've got my kit on. I'm going to catch up on yesterday's workout and do today's. So there's a dirty 30 workout of 30 minutes. And then there's a 30 minute yoga. So I'm going to get those done to tick off the week. So I can start with the week afresh. That's my plan. It is raining outside, but it's quite warm in the kitchen because the heating's on. So, and obviously I just made dinner today. So the oven's been on. So it's quite warm in here. So I'm going to try and get my workout done. I really don't want to do it. Forcing myself, but I know I should do it. And I really want to close my exercise ring so I can keep up my, I get a, a badge for getting all my rings closed this week. So I'm going to get on and do it and I shall see you on the other side. I won't be eating anything else today unless I decide to open some of my minstrels. Um, back on it tomorrow. So if I have any from tomorrow, I'll be weighing and measuring and tracking everything. So yeah, um, the daffodils that Chloe bought me, they were tightly budded. I'll show you them already. So this is how warm my house is. They're already starting to open up. So I'm looking forward to seeing them when they're flowering. But yeah, I'm going to get on my workout and I shall catch you in a bit. That's both classes done. The yoga had me literally dripping with sweat. My heart rate was really raised. Is that normal with yoga? And uh, crazy hair as always. Just heated a mug of tea up from earlier that I made and let it go cold. And rather than making a fresh one, just heat it up. And I've got my water. I'm gonna go and get a shower. I think I might leave my mats out because I'm planning on working out again tomorrow morning, dropping you in off early. So I'm planning on working out first thing when I get back. So I might leave my mats out because it'll just take it'll just be one less thing I have to do in the morning. It's cardio workout tomorrow, which I didn't realise. She switches them around so that they're not the same week each week. So it's cardio tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to because I only did that a couple of days ago. But it is what it is. I'll get it done. Good morning. It is Monday and it's another work from home day for me. Ed is on annual leave today. So he's sitting chilling, watching a bit of telly over there. And I'm at my desk as always. Um, this morning I got up early, took you into work and the traffic was horrendous but got back in time just to do my workout. Did half an hour cardio fix so that's another one ticked off. It was really hard actually, I was really sweating and my heart rate was in zone 3 at some point so I now worked hard. Um, didn't get a chance to do any other workout, it was just the one workout this morning and then I've got showered, left my hair wet because I thought oh, I'm not going anywhere today, I'll put my cosies on, I've got no meetings booked in because... My boss has got the day off and then realised that I've got my smear test this afternoon. So I'm going to have to get ready for that at some point, which is just wonderful. Um, I'm hoping to put my hair dye on today, which is why I just left my hair, because I just thought it's going to get hair dye put on it anyway. I did wash it, but I've just left it like it is, thinking if it's damp, it might go on a bit easier. But yeah, so that's my plan scuppered. So yeah, I'm just going to get on with my day. I haven't had anything to eat yet, um, but I'll show you when I do. Here's my breakfast well actually it's lunch it's 12 38 and i haven't had anything else to eat this is the first thing i'm eating today and this is 405 calories so i've got two hash browns um i think the portion size for the aldi ones is three but i've only got two so i've done two thirds of the portion in nutri check i've got an egg that's been cooked in spray oil some beans and two slices of bacon so that's what i'm having to eat and i shall catch you later i've got i think 1400 calories left so I should have found it quite easy to do my dinner. We've got HelloFresh coming today. So I haven't had HelloFresh for a few weeks, but I decided to have one come this week just because I knew that with us being away, we weren't going to have time to go proper shopping before, like on Mother's Day and stuff. So I ordered it to be delivered today. So it's coming between two and three. So we'll probably be having the HelloFresh meal for tea. Um, I never really go for the really high calorie ones, but even the high calorie ones, I can't see it being much above 800 calories, if if not even that. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to have this now. I haven't had any bread and butter with mine, whereas Eddie and Chloe have. I'm just going to hopefully make sure this fills me up. And then if I do need a snack this afternoon, I have got flexibility there in my calories. So I do look shocking today. I dried my hair after. I wasn't going to dry it. And then because I've got my appointment for my smear test, I went and blow dried, dried it after. Um, but I haven't got a huge amount of makeup on today. I've just got a bit of mascara on that's it. And I do look shocking, but... I'm going for a smear, I'm not going for a you know, fashion award. Just been out to the doctors for my smear test, which is something that everybody looks forward to not, <laughs> but it's done for another four years, hopefully. And um, is it three years, four years? And yeah, so that's that out of the way. She actually was really good, to be honest. The first time I think that I've ever had one or anything lady related where I haven't been messed around with for ages. I go in and I say to them, 
have an awkward one, I lean back and to the side. You'll need a longer device and they never listen. And I've had plastic ones break inside me and all sorts in the past just because they're determined that they're right and they'll be able to do it. And then they inevitably know that they're not and they end up having to change it. And then by then it's hurting because they've messed around so much. She listened and she went, yep, you're right. Straight in, done. I was literally back within 10 minutes and I walked down. <laughs> so I was so pleased and I was like, do you know what, you're the best person I've ever had do anything like that whatsoever. And I think it's just because she listened to me and didn't think that was making it up. So anyway, that's that done. I'm back now, back head down working for a bit. It's half two. I've got, um, we're taking her into the vets at quarter to five just so we can at least try and see if we can get her some pain relief. She's actually walking a lot better today, ironically. But obviously if we took her for a walk, we knew that wouldn't be the case. She'd be lame again. She hasn't walked since Saturday. So that's obviously why she's she's okay today. We are like literally lifting her everywhere. She's going obviously out into the garden and walking around the house, but she's not doing any sort of like major walking or anything. So I'm taking her down there because I tried to bring up to see if I could just get the pain relief for her that she's had before. And um, typical with vets, you have to go for a consultation, don't you? Because they're like adding that fee on. Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to go and at least it will start the ball rolling so that if we wanted to be referred, they'll be aware that she's got a bad leg because we pay insurance, we may as well get it sorted because I don't like her being in that much pain. It was awful at the weekend. Um, thank you for your kind comments and your prayers and things for people that are praying for her. It's very, very kind of you and it's much appreciated. Hi, since I saw you last, um, we've been to the vets with Luna, so we're about eight pounds lighter now, but she has got some pain relief for her leg. Eight pound? Oh, I thought you said eight. No, I said 80. Oh, I'm just trying to get into my video again. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording and cut this bit out. <laughs> so um, yeah, 80 pound, well, about 76.50, I think. Um, but she's been referred now to the um, dog hospital where she had her last leg done. So I have been looking on my insurance policy this afternoon to see, and it looks like it should be covered because if the disorder is classed as bilateral, so it says um, a luxating patella or cruciate ligament is classed as bilateral, so they'll do both legs rather than just one. So she had her leg done, it'd be two years ago in July. So they referred her for the other side. They've examined her and she said it's really difficult to tell because Luna's so tense because she hates the vets so much. We had her like muzzled and stuff. She was actually okay in the end, but she really hates the whole vets experience. So very hard to examine her. But she said we may as well refer her now before it gets any worse. So that's what we've done. But she has said that the current quotes, you're looking at five grand. So I hope the insurance does cover it. Otherwise, we are going to be skint <laughs> for a long time. Anyway... I then picked you up from work. I came back and worked for a bit, went went back out. Have I seen you since I had my smear test? I don't know if I have or not. I think I have. So yeah, it's been an in and out day today. But anyway, um, picked you up from work, went to Tesco's. I bought an assortment of bits and bobs just because I haven't been food shopping. Had HelloFresh delivered today. So tonight for dinner, Eddie wants to get a takeaway and I was like, nope, because I need to be on plan, on plan, on on it, on it for the next few days. So I um, I need to make up for the last, last weekend. I am doing this for dinner. This is a creamy sp spiced lentil and chicken curry. It's a calorie smart 20 minute one. And per serving, it's 630 calories. Now I've got about 1400 calories left. So if I have that, I've got plenty left to have something for pudding. Now I did buy these because they were reduced to like nine pence. And I also got some squished toasted tea cakes because it got squished in my bag. So it was seven pence. So I, I could have one of those toasted because they're all right toasted or I could make it into like a bread and butter pudding. Eddie bought a trifle as part of the Mother's Day thing yesterday, which we didn't end up having. So we could have that. Um, I also bought, because you don't see them everywhere. I got some Derbyshire pikelets. They are... It says for 100 grams, it's 176 calories, and this pack's 220 grams, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six in there. So what's that? About 35 grams each. So two, two wouldn't even be 175 calories, it'd probably be about 150 max. I also got these because when we went to Leek last weekend, um, we had a stuffed oat cake, and it was delicious. So they had some Derbyshire oat cakes. And again, 100 grams is 184 calories. 
and this is 550 and you get I can't tell how many you get in here one two three four I think you get at least five so I think 184 calories would be probably it which is, oh actually it says six on the front I'm blind it both say six on the front so you get six so yeah less than 100 grams each so less than 184 calories so plenty to choose from for snacks today i've also still got chocolates and sweets from mother's day and i've got these cocktails that you and bought me as part of mother's day present that i've not had yet I'm not a big drinker to be honest i'm not a big drinker during the week especially if i go away so like when we were in derbyshire at the weekend i did have an ipa with my dinner but that was the novelty of being somewhere and not driving and not having kids and anything else with me and just staying in the hotel um, and they were only like 149 calories or thereabouts, 169. It wasn't too bad. I haven't scanned them in yet, so I'm not sure how many they are, but I know they'll be a bit more sugary than that. Anyway, I was going to go on the bike and I might still do that, but I'm really, really hungry at this point. So I might just get on with doing my dinner. I took some other chicken out of the freezer as well, because I had some chicken I bought for the boys to have at the weekend. And I think rather than freezing it, I'm wondering whether just to cook it up and keep it cooked in the fridge to have for lunches and things. Oh, I also bought those thin tortilla wraps, you know, the ones that are 96 calories each. They're just thinner than normal ones. And I thought that'd be really good for doing a quesadilla for lunch. I mean, we had quesadillas for dinner last week or the week before. But I was thinking it may, if it's only 96 calories per wrap, that'd be 200 calories just under, plus you fill in. So it could easily be a, a nice lunch with a bit of salad. Oh, making myself even hungrier just thinking about it. But anyway, I'm going to get on with doing my dinner. And then if I feel like going on the bike later, I might do. I have got my Bargello to finish because I've almost finished that now. That my little tapestry piece that I was doing. So, um, so yeah, I'll do something. I'll keep you posted. I might just go on the bike and do an entertainment ride. But dinner's only 20 minute cook. So I don't know whether to do that now. And then do my dinner after because otherwise I'll be eating and then I won't be bothered to go on I might do that I might just go and quickly get my scruffs back on because I had obviously my t-shirt and my joggers on today and then I got changed before I went to the doctors because I just didn't feel smart enough to be going up to the doctors wearing that I'm not somebody who can go out in my pyjamas or anything like that I just can't do it anyway I shall catch you next time I do something the other thing is, tomorrow is going to be a weird one because I've got to take you into work early in the morning and I'm really enjoying doing my workouts early, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do it because I know I've got a meeting just not long after I log on. So if I take you in at like quarter past half past seven, I'm probably not going to get back to eight o'clock and I know it's only a half an hour workout to do that and then I might be able to fit it in. We'll see. I've got a feeling I've got 10 minute fast abs after my 30 minute workout tomorrow, which means it'll be 40 minutes. So I might be pushing it. But I also want Chloe to put my hair dye on tomorrow and do my nails. So fitting it in is going to be interesting, to say the least. So I'm not sure what to do now. Um, I would like Chloe to put my hair dye on because I keep missing chunks like under here. You can see where it's all grey. I'm not, I think partly because I've only been using one box of dye rather than having two. And I've actually bought two. I've got two in at the moment. So I'm going to get let her be generous with it. <sighs> So yeah, I mean, she could potentially put my hair down at lunchtime, I suppose, and leave it on for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and then wash it off and still be back for work. I could do that, or I could do my workout at lunchtime and just get her to put the hair dye on before she goes home. And then while my hair dye is doing its thing, she could quickly do my nails. Maybe that's the best plan. So I don't put so much pressure on myself in the morning. We'll see. We'll see what time I come back. I might get my kit on anyway, so I'm ready. Anyway, I'm blabbering on again, and you don't need to hear any of this, really. It's just me mulling over what I'm doing tomorrow. It's like I'm talking to a friend. Anyway, I shall catch you in a bit. Here's the finished dinner. So Eddie's took his already. So these are the other four portions. Um, I've actually changed what's in NutriCheck because it had a slightly different recipe, and it was slightly less calories. So I've changed it so that the macros and everything match. So this is 630 calories. I think I've got 741 or 700 and something left. So I will be able to have something later if I want something, which I probably will because I am particularly hungry today. So I have decided to have pudding. That dinner was absolutely delicious. It was really, really nice. It didn't look 
very very tasty looking at it with all the lentils and spinach but it was actually really really nice so i've got some raspberry trifle this is a morrison's one the app's actually incorrect and it says 204 calories on the actual packaging whereas in the app it says 221 but i've got very slightly over 150 so i'm just going to leave it as it is and i'm going to eat that for my pudding and see how i feel i still have like 500 calories left after that so we'll see how we go here is my breakfast this is 427 calories so it's been a bit of an odd morning this morning and i'm not sure if i've recorded already today or not but i got up this morning took you into work really early traffic was really ridiculously bad so it took me a while to get back just log into my work computer um i worked for a little while and then i got a phone call from ewan saying he was ill one second sorry i had to just approve my log on to work and um asked if I could go and pick him up he got a really bad stomach ache so I rang the doctors because he, he'd actually said to me that he had stomach aches since Sunday and when I was driving to work this morning he said he was he nearly came into my room last night because it was so bad he thought he needed to go to hospital so when he got sent home from work I thought I need to ring the doctors to see if I can get an emergency appointment because if not I'm gonna have to go to the walking centre luckily I got a lovely receptionist which is very unusual and she sorted out him speaking to the on-call doctor and the doctor fit him in for 20 past 11 so came back logged on for a bit then had to go out again at, at 10 past 11 so that he could go and do a urine sample and go and have a doctor's appointment they think it's gastritis because perhaps it, it might have been because of his other illness or it could just be one of those things or it could be acid reflux but they've given him a prescription for a month so i've got back and um i'm hungry because it's now 20 past 12 i've got loads today i've got a meeting at quarter to one so it's going to be a pretty full afternoon i think so i'm going to have this so this is a derbyshire oat cake and then on it i've got a slice of bacon and a slice of Montreux jack cheese tracked it all in my app and i think it's 427 calories i'm not sure how filling it's going to be but it's just something that i fancied so i'm going to have this now and then see how i feel later i haven't had anything else to eat today so i've still got those calories left for for later on if i want to have something so i shall catch you in a bit it's quarter past four and I'm getting peckish. I've only had the one thing to eat today, which was that oat cake with the bacon and cheese on. And I'm getting a bit hungry now. So I've decided to have a toasted hot cross bun. So I bought these in Morrison's Reduce last night. So I've just toasted it in the air fryer and I'll quickly show you. So these are the bakery Morrison's hot cross buns. And I think they're 167 calories. It does say on the packaging and it is on the app. So I've already tracked it. I've got five grams of Norpak lighter on and then I've got some of the it's a milk caramel spread and i can't remember the brand but it's from lidl it's something like oh i can't even think off the top of my head i'll have to try and remember to try and insert it on screen and then i've got some fluff now this particular fluff is one from a market a maker's market so it's a caramel fluff but i've just counted it as a marshmallow fluff because i obviously not gonna be able to find that and there's no calories on the packaging um, marshmallow fluff tends to be very good in calories anyway so I'm going to eat this I think it's a total of 267 calories which isn't too bad considering it's a nice sweet treat for the afternoon I think I've still got about a thousand calories left and I think both dinners on HelloFresh that I'm thinking of making for tea are around 600 so I should be fine um, I should still have calories left um, I haven't worked out today yet I am still aiming to work out Obviously, things have just got the better of me today with um, having to take you into the doctors and then pop into the chemist and all the rest of it and back and forth to pick him up from work when he wasn't very well. I'm quite busy, so I'm just going to try and get my head down and just get, get on for the rest of the, the afternoon and then hopefully do my workout after work. Because it's dirty thirty today and I actually do like that one, although this morning I was severely aching, so we'll, we shall see. Evening, I logged off work about 10 past 6, quarter past 6, because I wanted Chloe to put my hair dye on before she left, because I keep missing bits, so she's very kindly done that for me, and it's just um, developing now. So I thought whilst I was down here, I'd do a job that I've been supposed to be doing for the past two or three weeks, which is sorting my coffee machine out. So I've just changed the water filter, I'm doing the descaler, and then I've also got the little tablets to do the the bit where the the coffee hopper thing goes so hopefully at the end of it, it'll be all nice and clean. So that's my aim. I don't know how long's left on my hair timer, but I'm hoping I can get this done before I have to go and wash my hair off. Here's tonight's dinner, and this is 612 calories. So this is the HelloFresh 
sweet and sticky Korean style chicken stir fry with pepper, onion and jasmine rice. It's a Stacey Solomon one. And this is 612 calories, I believe. I've just tracked it in my app. But I haven't got my glasses on. And this isn't focusing for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, here's 612 calories in, though it's not focusing. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I am logged on to work early. It's half nine now. I've been logged on since around like, not sure actually, around half eight, eight-ish. And I made coffee and then went straight on to work because, um, in fact, it might have been eight. I think it was eight because I'm sure it was like, I was downstairs at half seven making coffee. And Ewan's off work hill still, so um, I didn't have to take him this morning. And I chose not to work out because my leg was a little bit sore from yesterday. So I thought I'm going to work out probably at lunchtime or after work. But um, I'm hungry, so I've decided to have something very quick to eat. I'm waiting for my boss to ring me at any point, so I don't want to have anything too involved. So I'll quickly show you what I'm having. This is two pikelets, so the, the Derbyshire pikelets. And they weighed 100 grams before I cooked them. So I've tracked them that in my app and I've tracked five grams of Norpat Lighter because that's what's on there. And I'm going to eat these now. I was going to do some scrambled egg or some ham and cheese with it, but I'm just going to eat them as they are. And if I'm hungry in a bit, I'll have something else. I think for lunch, I'm going to have a Caesar salad. So I bought two Caesar salad kits on, I think it was Monday, from Morrison's. So I think I might take some chicken out of the freezer and quickly cook that. Because I've got some ice and chicken that could be cooked from frozen, but I've also got the other breast that I could just stick in the instant pot if I need to and have a chicken Caesar salad. So that'll be quite low calories and healthy for my lunch. For tea tonight, we've got Hello Fresh. I'm having all the chicken ones first because the chicken ones are the ones that need the eating. So tonight it's a teriyaki chicken tray bake with sesame potatoes and tender stem broccoli, and it's 636 calories. So I'll have plenty for that anyway. So I'm gonna get on with my work now and I shall catch you for lunch. It's quarter past one and I've come down to make my lunch. I was gonna exercise, but I have got such a banging headache. I'm gonna have my lunch and just relax on my lunch break. I probably won't even take a full lunch break to be honest. So um, I'm just gonna have this and I'll show you what I'm having. Sorry if you can hear the fan, that's from the stove, but I've got a Caesar salad. So we've shared two kits between three of us. So I've counted a third or twice in the app. I've got a small portion of chicken, this is just chicken that's been roasted in the oven and then I've got one slice of bacon that I've dry fried and I think it comes to 418 calories or something like that, I need to have a look, I have tracked it all. But I'm looking forward to this because um, I've been fancying it all day. Hi, it is quarter seven and, oh, made darker rather than lighter and I have been around to, I logged off work at just after six, about five past six because I've been really busy. And then I went round to my neighbours because he was demanding that I help him with his spreadsheet, which I have. Well, I have and I haven't. I've been round, but I can't help him. His version of Excel is really, really old, so that's why it's not working. And I've come home now, and I will be doing dinner soon, but I'm having an oat cake with some ham and cheese on because I've got a banging headache. And I just feel exhausted and drained. You can see it in my face. I really want to do my workout. It's upper body today, which should be okay, but I just feel so, my head's just hurting so much, so I think I'm gonna have this and sit and relax for a few minutes. I don't wanna be late putting dinner on today either because it's one that takes a little bit longer. So I've counted my oat cake and I've still got enough calories for my dinner. I think I've got like, I've got 900 calories or 700 calories. Whatever it is, I've got enough for my dinner. It's a teriyaki chicken tray bake, so, it says on the front it's 35 to 40 minutes which all honesty probably means it'll take an hour so it's potatoes and broccoli the potatoes i might not do it in the baking tray i might just do it in the active fryer and then it's chicken that you put on a baking tray i'm hoping we've got enough chicken because it doesn't look like four chicken breasts let me have a look Oh, it does say four. It's just a little pack, but it does say four chicken breasts. So we've got that. Eddie did say we could have that little cottage pie, but the chicken needs using first, so we're going to have that today. I have got an extra chicken breast that I cooked at lunchtime that Luna can have as well. 
Um, she did have some chicken at lunchtime, so she could have her pain, pain relief. So this is the pain relief that she's currently on, Ruma Cam. I also need to edit a video, so I'm thinking that maybe my workout might not happen today. Um, but yeah, the chicken will take 25 to 30 minutes, and I'm tempted to do that in the air fryer too. Might speed it up a little bit. I might just do dinner and see how I feel, but I'm gonna have this first and then uh, I'll start on dinner after. And I shall catch you in a bit. I'll show you, it's not a very attractive looking um, oat okay, cakes. I've caught it a little bit. <laughs> so I've managed to split all the veggies because I didn't heat them first and that's mine at the back. But I'm sure it'll be tasty still. Evening, bedraggled as always. <laughs> I It's nine o'clock, I have done my workout, which I'm really pleased about because I really didn't want to do it and I really enjoyed it. So that's done. And then I made dinner at the same time. So I chopped and prepared everything, stuck it in the air fryer and the active fry, got on my workout, paused it part way through and just turned everything over. And then I got on and finished workout and it all kind of finished together. So great success. And I'll show you my dinner. Can't see where it is, but I can hear a fly. There's a little tiny one, but there is a fly in here because I had the door open when I was working out and it's annoying me. So I'm gonna have to cover Tom's dinner up. But here we have, it's the sesame potatoes, teriyaki chicken and roasted broccoli. And this is 600 and, what did I say it was? 636 calories. And then I've also got myself this strawberry flavoured Mogu Mogu drink. So you and bought me this a couple of weeks ago and I shoved it in the veg drawer because I knew that no one else looks in there apart from me. Because it's 173 calories and... I really wanted it, but I, I haven't had enough calories or haven't warranted spending them on this. But I really fancy something sweet today. I think this will just do the trick to kill my sweet craving. So that's my dinner. I think I've got 100 calories left, but I probably won't be using those because it's quite late. So I shall catch you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday. I can't believe it's Thursday already. I am off tomorrow from work and I'm off until next Thursday. So I've been really busy this week trying to tie everything up and get everything finalised so I'm busy working it's nearly 10 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat yet I did have my coffee this morning and then had a couple of bits to sort out on my personal computer like admin wise for Chloe and then I logged on and I've been sitting working so I'm going to carry on doing that I am getting hungry though um I did I wanted to work out this morning first thing but I woke up with a banging headache again I don't know if it's just because I've got so much going on I'm not sure why I'm waking up with so many headaches um, it is quite stuffy though, but it's it's cold, so I need to start up my bedroom window open. I think at night it might help, but um, but yeah, so um, that's where we are with everything today so far, and um, I'll I'll let you know what I'm doing tomorrow and all the rest of it later. But I've I'm, I've got my bag out and I'm starting to pack because I'm going away. So I put my passport in so I don't forget it because I'm panicking that I'm going to forget things. I've made a little list on my desk of things that I mustn't forget. Um, I'm only taking a little tiny hold all bag because I haven't paid for the extra cabin bag at the moment. I'm just hoping I've got enough space because it is for five days for everything because I wanted to take my workout gear so that I could put that on when I go out for walks and if I do any exercise because I was hoping to continue to do my 21 day fix while I'm over there. Whether I do or not, I don't know. So um, I shall keep you posted and let you know. But um I don't know what to have for breakfast either, so I'm still thinking about that, and I shall show you whatever I have. <sighs> anyway, I need to edit a video as well, so I might have to try and do that at lunchtime. There's so much to do, isn't there, when you've got a full-time job and you're trying to like balance it all. And this last couple of days, I've been working a little bit later, and then I've had other things going on. Um, I'm hoping Chloe's going to do my nails for me today because I've got some breakages going on. This hand's okay; they're quite long, but they definitely need some tender loving care so i'm hoping she might get a chance to do that for me today at some point pops at lunchtime as well and um yeah i'll catch you in a bit here's my breakfast i've got two pikelets with five grams of norpat lighter and i've got 71 grams of scrambled egg so this is what i'm eating it is 20 to 12 now so i'm pretty hungry it's three o'clock and it's been a real hard day today um, I wasn't sure what to have to eat. I've not had any lunch. Obviously, I had my breakfast really late, but decided I did need to have something. So I'll show you what I'm having. So this is a sandwich made with a Warburton's Tiger Bloomer, 30 grams of ham, 
five grams of Le Pat Lighter and a tomato. And then I've got a pack of Safari snacks to go with it. Um, I can't remember if I've just said what the calories are. It's something like 320 out of 358 calories, but I can't remember. My head is very befuddled today. You know, before you go away and you've got that mad rush of everything that you know you've got to do. So I just, I'm really worried that I'm going to end up forgetting to do something. So I've just got my head down and I haven't even taken a lunch break. So I'm going to try and have a bit of a break now to eat. And then I'm hoping at some point Chloe will get a chance to do my nails. I've got a tweet through Tom's project that he's got to do and uh, before the end of the evening. And I've got a pack. I had started to get my bag ready. I put my pants, my pyjamas and my passport anything beginning with a P into my bag just so I don't forget those because I kind of think as long as I've got my pants and my pyjamas my passport everything will be okay I can always buy clothes over <laughs> I've also got to make sure I take my driving license because I'm hiring a car so I need to sort all that out and make sure I don't forget anything and obviously then there's my charges and things which I can't really pack till tomorrow morning Work is just horrendous because there's just a lot to do. So um, I've been on one of the most awkward meetings I think I've ever been in my life because someone got a proper roast in, but it wasn't me, thankfully. But um, but yeah, so anyway, I shall catch you later. Here's my dinner, courtesy of Eddie. So this is a HelloFresh meal and it's cottage pie with peas. Luna's hurt her leg again. She wanted to play a little bit earlier, so she is properly limping. Bless her. Is your leggy hurting? Bless you. So I finished work and then I had to go through Tom's presentation that he's got for uni. Did that. Then my sister called in with some keys because Tom's at work tomorrow and he needed a set of keys. And then I nipped to Morrison's with Tom and Ewan just to get a few bits. I actually get some reduced bargains actually. I've got a couple of roast chicken, like one that's a roast in the bag and a normal like, roast chicken. That were like four quid each and then i bought some mini fillets that were reduced and a pizza and stuff just some little bits to put in the fridge or freezer so eddie very kindly made dinner whilst i was out um i need to go and pack but i'm going to edit a video first because i really should have had one uploaded today and i haven't and i've been getting really slack but it's because of pressure with work so it's one of those things you know work is the bread and butter so i've got to put that first so i'm going to do that now eat my dinner and then i'm going to go and pack Hi, bedraggled editing Julie here. Um, didn't close this video out, didn't realise I was closing it out at this point, decided that I'd hit the 52 minute mark and that's probably long enough for you to put up with seeing my face. So I've closed the video here and I shall try and get another one up tomorrow or the day after. Um, this was up to I think the 15th of March or 14th of March and today is Easter Monday. So playing catch up still a little bit but we're almost there, very nearly there. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, if you could, it really helps the channel. If you like the video, pop a like on for me. Again, really helps the algorithm. Um, as always, chat to me in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. Um, this video, by the way, was all filmed prior to Luna having her operation on her leg. So the next couple of videos, you'll see Luna, you know, without anything going on with her leg. Um, but yeah, we'll play catch up and you'll find out all about that later. See you very soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.